G'day, Nigel Lee from Sax School. You know, one of my favorite classic jazz ballads is In a Sentimental Mood. It's a lovely, lovely melody, and there's a fantastic recording of Duke Ellington with, with Coltrane, John Coltrane playing it. Um, one of the best things you can listen to for a ballad on tenor saxophone. I'm going to show you how to play the first half of the melody in this lesson. We're going to look at, um, at the notes all the way through, break it down, make it uh, really, really easy to learn. I'll start by playing it through with a backing track, and then we're going to go through, we're going to have a look at the notes step by step. Here we go. Okay, it's a lovely tune, isn't it? And the cool thing about it is there's only two sections in the whole tune, so it's quite easy to learn. Now we're in the key of G major for this tune, in the original key, recorded key, so that gives us only one sharp, which is F sharp. Uh, there's a couple of other sneaky accidental notes you're gonna see in this lesson, but pretty much F sharp's the main thing in the key signature. Now, it's also quite scalic, so there's lots of scale type runs in this, which makes it nice and easy to learn. The very first phrase starts in a G, and it sounds like this. Now that line comes back a few times, so it's good to know it. It's dead easy, it starts in a G. We go G, A, B, D. Now, so I'm starting with my octave key off, and then when I get that D, I pop my octave key on, okay? So D, E, and then high G, and then high A. So one more time. G, A, B, up to D, E, up to high G, up to high A. Should we try that first line? So we come in on beat two. So we go one, two, three, four, one. Lovely, okay. From there we go like this. Stay with that octave key on now. G, A, G, there's that F sharp, E, D, then down to B with the octave key off, up to E, and back down to B. So one more time. High G, A, G, F sharp, E, D, down to B, up to D, back to B. Should try that bit now. So this starts on beat two as well. Three, four, one. <laughs> Now, as always,
Anyways, I'm trying to keep my fingers a long way off the saxophone when I'm showing you these notes, but when you're playing it, you should really try to keep your fingers so they're touching the keys all the time. Okay, so from there we go B up to D with the octave key back on again, up to E, now the sneaky B flat here. I'm playing without my with I'm playing that with my index finger, so I'm doing the B key and the B flat key, but you might choose to do it like this, one, two, and the side key. So it's up to you. I like using this one. I think it's the quickest and most efficient. So B up to D, up to E, down to B flat, A, G, down to low E. Okay, so one more time. B, D, E, B flat, E, A, G, down to E. Okay, should we play those notes? I love that B flat because it's a nice bluesy note, isn't it? Now, actually, it is the flat third of the scale. If you think of the key of G major, the B is the third note in the scale, isn't it? G is one, A is two, B is three. And by flattening the third, we get that bluesy sound. So that you hear that in all different styles of music. And that's exactly what we're doing in this lesson. And we finish off this phrase by going um, G. B natural this time, D up to F sharp, then down to E, down to C with the octave key off, down to low, F sharp, and we finish on an A. Okay, so one more time, G, B, D, F sharp, E, C, down to F sharp, up to A. I'm struggling singing those low notes today. Let's try that much, so G, B, D, F sharp. Okay, cool. Now, at that point, we're in our, our first time ending. So, we, at the end of that bar, we repeat back to the beginning, and we play all the way through that section again. So, let's do that now. Let's, um, let's play... Uh, the end of this phrase and, and repeat back and go all the way through that section again. So just like the start of the tune, we start with G, A, B, D, E, G, A. So here we go, second time through. When we get to the end, there's a slight difference on one note. I'll tell you that when we get there. So we're going to start on beat two, three, four, one. <laughs> But the second time through, we go to a G, just to a normal G. Okay, cool. So that's the end of the first half of this tune. It's a great melody, and you know, really to get the most out of playing this and learning this melody, uh, you need to think about your tone. So be really conscious that you're giving your saxophone lots and lots of air, and you're really supporting the tone with lots of air all the way through the phrases, and also that you're keeping your embouchure nice and supported. Not too firm, but not too loose. So really what you're aiming for is to keep a really even, consistent tone all the way through every single phrase. In fact, all the way through that first half of the melody. That's a great challenge. So use your metronome, do lots of listening to the original recording, and see if you can really keep it as consistent as possible. Make sure you leave us a comment, let me know how you get on, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's a ton of other great things in, on the, our YouTube channel, and there's new things coming up all the time. So we'd love you to share those lessons as well. We'll see you next time.